Hi guys, how are you all doing, darlings? So I'm gonna go to the door so, uh, to the dollar store because I wanna see uh, if they have anything um, that I could use to put my candle wax. Uh, yeah, so this is the first time that I ever go that I ever been to a dollar store, so it should be fun, uh, interesting. Uh, I'm sure I won't be able to uh, vlog in the store, so so let's go. So I'm I'm getting my. Uh, education on uh, on candle making and um, believe me guys uh, uh, there's a science behind it you know it's like uh, I've tried many candles now and it's just like you know now I see how uh, candle making works you know what you're trying to achieve you're trying to achieve a, a better burn in the candle you know you want to make sure they have consistent uh, burn throughout the, the whole candle uh, you don't want the candle like tunneling. Uh, let me just put you guys. I'm gonna put you guys in the in the car. Uh, okay, much better. So let me just open the garage door. Yeah, so you know it's all about uh, wick size, about how far apart you're gonna put the wicks. If you have uh, the diameter of the container that you have, uh, whether it's square, round. Uh, in, uh, yeah, it's all science. I mean, it's fun. That's what makes it interesting. It's not like just pouring the, uh, the wax and just let it cool. No, it's not about that. You have to play with the different oils, the different ratios. You know, it's uh, a lot of math involved also because depending on the wax you're using. So it depends on how the wax uh, will react with the, uh, with the oils. You know, the different oils uh, have different uh, heat throws. They call the heat throws like fragrance throw. Like, how strong they are when you light them up uh, yeah you know so there's a whole science behind that you know it's it's fascinating you know it's it's great at the same time i'm thinking about uh, the design of the label that i'm going to use you know, like container i order uh, di different containers for different sizes for different uh, websites and i also want to Order different kinds of wigs because some of them are made I made with paper, some of them I made I made with cotton, some of them I made with a, a mix of both, some of them I made of, of wood, and some of them I the thickness. Again, you know, it's all about how thick, uh, how big the uh, the container is. I'm happy with it, but the central it's it's not there yet, so I need to really. Like I'm, I'm, I need to have like a guideline of where to start. I'm trying now. Um, I started with 10 drops of each scent. Then I went to 20 drops. Then I went to 30 drops. Now I'm up to 40 drops, and it's, the scent is not there yet. So I think I'm gonna have to like triple the amount. And that's why when they say use like an ounce of fragrance oil, now I understand what they're talking about. Now how much you really need is by testing it. So you're gonna have a lot of failures. That's why I wanna find like a. I wanna do like small containers, so I can do like two different ratios on every container. So I, that way I don't waste a whole lot of wax making one candle. Uh, hopefully I'll find good stuff in here. Time. Let me get my mask ready. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Yes! Okay, guys, I found the deal of the century, darling. The dollar store is the, is the place to come. Amazing deals. I spent $14, but I got. So much and I didn't have to pay for shipping so now I know where to come they have like a candle section in here where you can just they have a lot of containers that like the small ones and then you go to the kitchen section and they have a lot of glasses for a dollar and no tax I'm telling you you cannot go wrong with that so we're back home and let's start experimenting 
Yes, the days are going so fast. It's only it's already 12:30. Hi guys, so I'm doing an unboxing. I just got some products that I got from a website called uh, CandleSigns.com. Uh, they are very reputable uh, candle making website, and I just want to show you what I got. Let's see. Let me just put you here. Can you see? Okay, so this is the stuff I got. It's a pretty big box, as you can see. So I'm just gonna bring. So I'm gonna try to be as neat as possible. So I don't remember where I ordered from here. Uh, let me see if I can find a, a, a trash bag for all this stuff. Inside, oh my god, I got this is some of the containers. Oh my god, these are the cutest ones. Oh, let me bring you over so I can show you better. Look how cute. Wow. I love this. Let me just put you guys in here so you can see better. So as I uh, unbox, I'll put them in the table here. So this is the uh, 12 containers. I love this. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So I have 12 of these. It's a very chic when I put the, my gardenia and my flower candles. So again, I have 12 of these. Also, I got the same. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful in black. Woo! Very chic, darling. Very chic. Yes! I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. So I have all these also. So perfect. I'm made in the USA. I'm excited because I have these uh, different oils. This is uh, four ounces. This is amber and driftwood. Let's see. Oh my God. Oh, love it. Amber and driftwood. Show you the next oil. I got this one in small, uh, one ounce container. This is golden rose. Oh my God, delicious. And I'm glad that I got the ounce, one ounce, because I, I like it, but not, it's not my favorite. Okay, this is another ounce, rosemary sage. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna get a bigger size than this one, that's for sure. Rosemary and Sage. I mean, a lot of people have uh, suggested this website for uh, candle uh, fragrance oils. This is Ocean Rose, four ounces. Let's see. Oh my God. You know, guys, it's true what they said about scents and and memories. This took me back to a place of happiness and sadness at the same time. Wow. It's so powerful. Scents are so powerful, you know? It's... Okay, let's keep going. This one is suede and smoke. So I got one ounce of this. Wow, that's ocean rose. Wow, amazing. Okay, so let's smell this one, sweat and smoke. Oh, 
very sophisticated, uh, very deep. Not my favorite, but it's very sophisticated. Uh, this is vetiver. Again, I just got one ounce. It's beautiful, but I don't really care for it that much. But it's it's beautiful uh, wood scent, but um, not my favorite scent. This is sweet grass and violets. Oh my god! Oh my god! This takes me back to a place. Let me see if I can remember. Oh my god, this reminds me of the south of France when I went with Anne. Wow. You know, and when, you're, when you're there, you don't really realize. Okay, this is an uh, English garden. Let's see. Wow. This reminds me of when we went to Austria and we went to visit some um, some gardens in Europe. Beautiful. Uh, it says in here, you know, guys, flashpoint. Uh, I need to find out what flashpoint means. I believe it's the point where uh, it starts to smell, to give out uh, the, sm uh, the smell. Flash point for this uh, oil is uh, 198 Fahrenheit. Uh, the flash point for amber and drift food is 212 Fahrenheit. And o Ocean Rose, the flash point is 225 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Sweet grass and violet, 176. Fahrenheit, wow. Uh, gardenia tuberose, my god, gardenia. I hope I like this one. The different gardenias uh, smells. I'm just looking for the perfect one. Oh my god, yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, I found. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Oh my God. This is my scent. Gardenia tuberose. The flash point of this is 212. And the last one, the last one that I ordered is Tonka and Oud, Oud, whatever you call it. Um, it's, this is the flash point, 196. The Gardenia killed me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to make a candle just with this. I have to see. What is, what is Tonka? Tonka. Tonka and Oud. O U D. The flashpoint 196. Let's see. It doesn't say, uh, I need to go do a re research on the website, candlescience.com. Uh, it says store, storage and safety. Uh, it says store in a cool, dark area. Avoid contact with, with skin. In case of skin contact, wash thoroughly with soap and water. Use only in well, in well ventilated areas. Okay, so I know I do want to try this tonka and oil uh, on a candle today. And And that kind of a combination, I think uh, I will mix it with that. 
I wouldn't mix this with a with the flour. I think I will mix this with a suede and a smoke. Definitely. Great combination. So I'm gonna try one with these two. And what else did I get in here? Anything else? That's all I got. Hi guys! So I'm preparing a uh, to make, I'm getting ready to make an, uh, a new candle, guys. Um, I'm gonna try using this in here. Let me just take this off. So first I have to figure out how many ounces fit in here. And for that, I need to, let's see, they have in here uh, anything uh, saying how many ounces you can fill in here. It doesn't say, it only says that it measures 2.7 inches in diameter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out how many ounces fit in here. So the way I find out is to have my measuring cup and I'm just gonna put some uh, water in here. Let me show you. Uh, well, according to this, it's um, four and a half ounces. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use a scale to make sure to the fill line that I will do if I were using uh, wax. So let me just put this in there. So this 4.7 ounces. So these are on five ounces. So this is uh, 4.7 ounces and let's see, let me show you. So what I'm gonna do is I have to allow one ounce of uh, for the, actually not one, half an ounce for the uh, fragrance oils. I think that I need to take into consideration. So that's why I'm searching on the internet. Uh, uh, what is the, it's usually 10% of the, 10% of 4.7 for 10%. Okay, so now I have to convert. Uh, so it's 4.5. So 4.5 ounces of water plus 4.5 plus 0 0.4 of fragrance. That's gonna make it uh, 4.09 of liquid. Okay, but I need to figure out how many uh, ounces of wax are in four and a half. So this is the way I I was looking at it. So four. 4.5 multiply 0 0.844 equals 3.79, 3.7 ounces. This makes more sense. So 3.7 of wax plus, I'm gonna get one of my beakers that I have uh, upstairs, I wanna bring it downstairs, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have, I have a set of beakers that I, that I ordered uh, over a year ago and I had them in the box, so I just washed them. So I'm gonna take this size in here, so this is what I'm gonna use to measure on the scale. So, so I wanna be like kind of professional, why not? So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna start making these uh, smaller uh, candles and I'm gonna be using only one wick. Uh, that's another thing that I need to test at uh, different size of wicks. Uh, let me just bring the other equipment, I'll be right back. Okay, so for this size of candle, I don't need that much uh, Abigail container, so I'm gonna use this container that I have in here, that stainless, uh, stainless steel. And let me just move this up in here and let me show you the burner that I have. So this is the... This is the induction burner that I got uh, from Amazon. It works beautifully, it doesn't get hot at all. So I'm just gonna put a pot in here. Side. 
and let me just uh, put you guys in a better placing here. Okay, so let me just go ahead and uh, plug in. So this is the burner now, guys, and, and I'm gonna put it on. Uh, it's on on, and I'm gonna put it at uh, the minimum. I want it to be at 200, which is the minimum that I could get in this. And I'm gonna start adding the wax. According to my calculations, it's going to be 3.7 ounces of wax. So I'm going to measure that in here. Three point seven ounces of wax. Up in here. So this is what I need. I need a thermometer. To measure the temperature in the wax. Okay, we'll do it for to sell. So take this the sticker in here, you buy like this big kind of sticker here. You just put it in the bottom. By law you have to put this on every single candle that you make. 10% of the um, of the weight in here, so it, then it will have to be 3.7. Uh, it will be 3.7, uh, 0.3, ounces of uh, oil per gans. Okay, now the big question is, uh, let me convert this into uh, grams. Okay, let me just use the calculator from from here. Okay guys, so my best friend now forever is going to be Siri. Let me just fix you guys. She's doing all the math for me. So I went, I asked Siri to convert 0 0.37 ounces into grams. So she converted to me and it's 10.49 grams so of fragrance. So now the big question is, uh, what combination of uh, fragrances do I want to use? And I think I'm gonna use the tonka and oud with the uh, with the suede and smoke. So I'm gonna use the beaker, and I'm gonna start it, and I'm gonna make it into uh, grams because grams is really more accurate when it comes to uh, being precise. So I'm gonna put. Uh, Now I'm gonna put half and half. Oh, let me see which. This is another test. I, you need to, to figure out how much of this. Oh my God! Sweat and smoke. Tonka and oats. Okay, so this is the way I'm thinking about how notes and accords work. The more amount you put in there, I need to make close to at 10, at 10 10.49 grams. So I think, let me see if I wanna add something else. I'm tempted to do what if I use a little bit of vetiver? Oh my god, yes. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can use a, a night dropper here, which I have in here a lot. This is uh, a bunch of... Uh, okay, so I'm gonna use a night dropper to get the oil. Very precise. I don't want to. Uh... Let me just rinse this to mix this. The wax started to melt now. Again, I like to do this uh, slowly. Okay, so I got the dropper here. Okay, 
Okay, so 10.49 grams. I'm gonna make the base now to be uh, tonka and ao. So this is gonna be the most that I'm gonna put in. So I'm, I'm thinking, uh, Putting five grams of this. Let me just write it down because we have to write down everything, darling. So five point five grams. Tonka and O. Okay, here we go. So I, I made it 11, 11 grams. So this is 11 grams. This is gonna be the fragrance that I'm gonna be adding later on. So let me just put this aside. Okay. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a smaller can, it's a smaller candle. So I'm gonna use a smaller glue dot. And then just put it at the bottom and press. And then what I like to do is I have like a plastic uh, straw. And then I take out this the other side of the glue dot. Take the container and just place it in the middle. The best you can in the middle there and then I'm just gonna press it down when the temperature is like 185 190 uh, they say because that's the temperature where the the molecules of the wax it's open uh, the most so when you throw in the the fragrance it makes it more uh, it mixes better with the, with the wax uh, a lot of people don't agree with that and Myself included. I'm gonna wait until the wax lowers. I'm gonna make it up in. And heat. I'm gonna make it go up to 185, 190, and then take it off the heat and just wait until it goes down to 135, 140, 135, and then add the fragrance oils. Pull down. Let me see how. Stop talking and we just. One sixty four. Uh, testing uh, the different candles. If you put it at a lower temperature, uh, the temperature that soy wax uh, gets start getting solid is uh, between 125, 120. So the closer you go to that, the more you uh, you get to lock all the fragrance and all the uh, its uh, intensity. So as it cures, it's it has uh, the most potency that you can uh, put into the into the candle. So let's see, let's see, let's see how that works. I did it on my, one of my candles upstairs yesterday and I truly believe it's you no know, it's right. 151, I'm gonna keep waiting. Uh, I don't know why guys, but for some reason I don't think this wax is gonna be enough for the candle. Fragrant. A 140. And then you pour into the container at uh, 135, 130. 142. Again, we are close to the window and it's very cool today. So this is gonna be going really. Cool. 140, time to. Rock and roll. Secret is you have to mix it very well. Okay, it's getting solid. I'm gonna pour.
I've got a muse. A tiny bit more wax, guys, but you know what? I am so happy with this. Yes! I mean, half an inch. I could have gone a little bit more. But you know what, guys? We're testing this. So now I have to hurry up and, and clean this before it gets solid. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go and put lots of hot water in here. We're done making the candle. And let's see how it comes out. It's gonna be a couple of hours. So I'm gonna show you how it looks. I'm gonna wait a couple of hours and I'll come back to you, okay, guys? Yes! Okay, guys, so let me show you the final product, darling. Uh, it has solidified a little bit, so let me show you. Ta-da! Yes! My god, this scent is really potent. This is the way it should smell. Oh my god, I can smell the um, different uh, notes in it. Ah, yes! So um, I think this is... Do you think this is... No, this is not... Uh, let me see. Yeah, okay, so this is... I took this off. As you can see, it's the wick is perfectly centered. And these are the other uh, guys, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, so, so these are the glass containers that I found at the dollar store for a dollar, guys. I mean, isn't this great? All this for a dollar? I mean, a dollar each, of course. So I'm looking forward to making uh, big containers. I'm gonna be using like three weeks in here, two weeks in here, uh, one week in each of them. So, you know, I'm just playing also with the different size, uh, size of uh, wigs. Uh, I think this is beautiful. You know, I, I, I really want to concentrate in making only white candles now so I can uh, just look at the real texture of the wax, wax itself. And yeah, so let me just put this away. Okay guys, so this is gonna be it for the, for the video guys. I hope you uh, enjoy. And again, I'm concentrating into my new, uh, my new hobby, my new passion, which is uh, how to make uh, the perfect uh, scented candles. I mean, candles anyone can make, but to make, to find the real uh, formula to make uh, the essence that you want to have in your space, uh, that's very special. So it's like just looking for, um, I don't know, it's it's like like creating a painting for me. It's like creating, like you mix different scents, um, different percentages, you know, and then you come up with this beautiful product that people will love. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna make for you guys. I wanna be selling it in my salon here. And yes guys, so okay guys, so this is it for, my, for me today. Um, please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my content with all your friends and family guys. Um, until the next one guys, I love you. Ta-ta!